Surgery fail. Travel plans canceled. Again. Uh, again. <laughs> A few weeks back I had surgery and the name of the surgery that I had was called a denervation of the spermatic cord. So basically the nerve that runs to your boys that causes pain, they snipped it. Yes. It's supposed to alleviate all the pain, the post vasectomy pain that you have if you have that. And I'm one of the lucky ones that got that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the denervation of the spermatic cord supposed to work for about 98 percent of people mm -hmm. 98 to 99 percent of people yeah. didn't work for me no uh so still having pain so the next step is to do an epididymectomy say that five times fast yeah because that is where the pain is centralized and at the ep epididymis there's a little gland this is right on top of one of your boys well one on each of them but yes. the one that's bothering me is on the left yeah so they're going to remove that completely mm -hmm. Everything's still going to work. Yeah. I've already had a vasectomy, so it really doesn't matter no. if you have this or not. Yeah. So what I have is I have a benign growth yeah. that is on that area. And that area is the area that hurts really bad when you get kicked. That's the part yeah. of your boys that hurts. Mm. So when you get kicked, that's what that's, causes that pain. Yeah. They're going to remove it completely because I have this little tumor or growth. Yeah. And it's benign. It's not cancerous or anything. They've yeah. already tested that. Yeah. So, but what it's doing is causing pressure there. So yeah. it feels like somebody's kicking me in my junk all the time. It's not fun. No way, no. So we're going to do a second surgery, which means we have to go back down to Claremont. We were on our way out of Florida. Not going to leave Florida. So we're going to go back down there. We were yeah. supposed to go from here to South Carolina. North Carolina. Yeah. West Virginia. Uh-huh. And Ohio. Yes. Scrapped. Canceled. <laughs> yeah. We're going to go back down to mm -hmm. Claremont, Florida, where my urologist is. She's going to do the surgery. And she wants me to stick around for four weeks oh. post-op just to make sure everything goes right. So yeah. we will take you along with us. And it's a 98 to 99% success rate as well. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see yeah. how it goes. Well, we've been traveling for the last two days to get back down here to do my surgery. Today is surgery day, and uh, man, they scheduled up for 12.30 in the afternoon, and you can't eat after midnight or drink after midnight, so it's now a little after 11 in the morning. We're getting ready to take off to go to the hospital, and um, I'm not a breakfast guy, but I don't know, for some reason, when they tell you you can't do something, it just makes you want to do it even more, so they tell you you can't eat or drink, and now I'm just hungry, and I'm thirsty, and I don't even get there until 12.30. That's just to show up. And I got to do all the pre-op stuff and all that crap and then the surgery and then recovery and then come out. And then so probably uh, dinner will be the first time that I get to eat today. But man, fingers crossed that this surgery works this time. Getting better prepared this time. Mm -hmm. What you bringing? <laughs> Snacks? My cheddar twist. <laughs> <laughs> and, and water. And a slim fast for lunch. Because as soon as they pull you back, I'm going to drink my shake. Mm -hmm. So I should be good. Because I don't want to eat in front of you. That's just rude. Yeah. So. And? Your blankie? I'm taking my blankie. <laughs> because. <laughs> because last time it was so early in the morning that it was cold outside. So it was fine to wear jeans. Because the hospital was cold and it was cold outside. This time it's scorching hot outside and it's. They're not actually going to probably touch you till like almost 1.30. And then freaking, by the time we get out, it'll be rush hour. So it's going to be the hottest part of the day. And I'm not wearing jeans to the hospital just to stay warm inside. So I'm taking my blankie. I learned a lesson too. Wear stretchy clothes? Yeah, wear stretchy clothes. <laughs> Last time I wore jeans, well, it was cold. It was cold. But I should have just wore like my track pants. Yeah. I didn't do that. Yeah. And so like after surgery, trying to put jeans on was a deal. Yeah. So now I just got my, my moisture wicking shirt, my basketball shorts, and it's going to be much easier to get dressed after surgery. Uh, it's 90 degrees and I got my blanket. <laughs> <laughs>
90 degrees and got the blankie. <laughs> so stupid. Because it's gonna be like 60 degrees in there. It is, they do keep it cold in there. I used to work in an operating room and they just keep it like a meat locker in there yeah. all the time. So I won't be cold because I'll be sleeping. Well, thank you to Sumo Springs, the sponsor of today's video. We'll leave a link in the description below to Sumo Springs. Pop over there, we can save you 15%. And all you gotta do is put in the promo code WAYWARDWAGS when you check out. We were checking in, I saw on the paper that my surgery is not until 1.50. Yeah. Checked in at 12.30. Yeah. Luckily for me though, when I get back there, time kind of goes fast, because I'm doing stuff. Yeah. Like I gotta get dressed, I start an me. IV, I gotta get a haircut. <laughs> and. <laughs> All that stuff. Yeah. So by the time that gets all done, it's almost surgery time. But for Leslie, she's just kind of sitting here, mm -hmm. bored. Yeah. And cold. And cold. But she got a blanket. <laughs> <laughs> nice so dice. they'll be they'll be up here to call me back shortly to get all that stuff rolling. Yeah. We're well, not allowed to show you any of that stuff. Yeah. They don't let you film back there. Well, a little bit. Yeah. Because I filmed last time. They wouldn't bit. let me film the haircut. I asked. <sighs> Why on earth would you have asked that? I didn't. Oh. I was just joking. I can't believe she believed that I asked. <laughs> hey, I've been with you long enough to know that nothing's off limits. <laughs> All right, round two. Here we go. I'm starting to, this hat's starting to grow on me. It's yeah. so versatile. Like you could be like conehead. You could do like the golfer hat thing. Yeah. yeah. Do like red chair. Yeah. We? Wait, wait, wait. No, it's uh, not my favorite hat. No. That's the least of my worries. <laughs> so, is the haircut any different than last time? They're going to do it when they get in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I opted to have them do it while I'm sleeping. Oh, okay. Gotcha. The sleeping haircut. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay, so. Procedure's over, everything went well. Just now gotta wait and see if it worked. Shouldn't have fairly quickly. This, this is supposed to be a faster recovery, so we should know sooner if it worked or not. Um, didn't do much to talk about while I was waiting because I met the sweetest older gentleman in the waiting room and we talked about RVing the whole entire time. And he's actually staying in our park, so I might see him around still. Uh, so I didn't do any filming while I was sitting there waiting and it went a lot faster I guess talking instead of just sitting there so win for me Appreciate it. You got it one. Thank you Good job. Thanks It's like deja vu. Well, the Ram 3500 not ideal to climb up into after a nut surgery <laughs> But, uh, make note of that. I'm hungry and yeah. thirsty, but they did give me apple juice. No, well, there you go. Winning. Leslie's making me soup again, and um, it's a little different this time. Post op, uh, last time they did like a nerve block for pain control, and um, I didn't feel any pain for six days. Uh, and then the seventh day the pain came back, but today I think they just did a local and uh, I'm hurting pretty good right now So uh, After I get done eating I got ice going right now after I get done eating I'm put some uh, Motrin on board and uh, Alternate I'll alternate Motrin and Tylenol every uh, four hours uh, back and forth and uh, hopefully get this pain under control uh, yeah, feels like somebody kicked me in my in my junk. Hopefully that will 
that's the pain we're trying to alleviate so hopefully that will subside over the next couple of days as we uh as we get better and um as you can probably tell i'm a little groggy having a hard time even open even oh uh, <laughs> having a hard time even keeping my eyes open so I'm not gonna uh, stay on here but uh, just kind of giving you an update well 24 hours in the bad news is I'm sitting we're sitting here I'm icing elevating we're sitting here watching a movie mm -hmm. murder mystery 2 yeah yeah with the, the Adam Sandler movie and power goes out Boo! and it is high it's 90s, 90s today. high 90s here in Orlando and the power just went out. I went out to check the pedestal to see, like, did we overwork the breaker? I don't think we did. Mm -hmm. But the guy next door was out checking his, too. He's like, mm, it's everywhere. And we keep our generator. It's an aftermarket generator. <laughs> yeah. In the front bay, under the under the kingpin. And it's heavy. And I'm not getting it out of there right now. So, if the power stays out. <laughs> and Leslie's had enough. Mm-hmm. Too hot. too hot. Freaking hot. Yeah, try to get this generator out. Yeah. Boom. Don't ask me to get it back in. Though. Oh, it's not going back in. <laughs> no. It'll just sit here till I'm recovered. As soon as we got the generator out yesterday, power came back on. And it's a good thing it did because the battery in the generator was dead anyway so I had to recharge that overnight last night and so we left the generator out overnight and now it's got to go back in mm -hmm. I think she didn't want to risk it so we're calling in reinforcements Get your hand ready. Yep. thank you yeah, yeah no problem <laughs> That's what you want it all the way back no it's fine I'm gonna pile everything around all right. appreciate it man oh, no problem you're right. welcome no problem at all rescue. that's what friends do man I had to bring up some backup you know right. we take care of business right. yeah. he brought the muscle yeah, yeah and this right. thing I do for you you will not forget the, okay? the, 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 the brains and the brawn <laughs> right. you know which I don't know about that I don't know about either of them well big thank you to Chris and Joel Yes. Chris from our everyday getaway and Joel mm -hmm. from Chasing Our Sunshine for coming over and help put the generator away. Yes. <laughs> and they just invited us over to hang out, so we're going to go hang out with them. You know you're hanging out with the right crowd when you ask, what can I bring? And they say... Jello shots. <laughs> it's my fave. <laughs> I was like, they asked us to bring jello shots? This is our kind of people, man. Yeah. This stole my heart when she said that. Well, right now I'm sitting in the parking lot of my doctor's office. I'm not supposed to have an appointment for two more weeks, but it appears that, um, well, not only has there been no improvement in my pain from the surgery, uh, it seems now that the incision site is infected. And so now I have to go in and look at that. I'll probably have to have another round of antibiotics. Um, and we've been where we are in the campground for two weeks we have one more week there we have to move. I was anticipating being three weeks and almost, you know, well on my way to recovery and being able to move and then, um, but I don't know. It's super frustrating. Two surgeries, no relief. Uh, it just seems like I'm even in worse shape than I was before I started all this. So not only have we been trapped in Florida for, you know, 11 months, um, I'm in more pain now than I was when we when we started this deal. So it's it's pretty frustrating. I'm trying to stay positive, um, trying to still, you know, have that good energy I always have. But man, it's it's frustrating. It wears on you after a while. And so hopefully we can get some relief here. I'm, I'm sure they're gonna put me on some antibiotics. Hopefully that'll clear up the infection quickly, and um, or maybe over time the pain will get better. But for now, um, man, I couldn't even. I felt bad too because I was leaving out today and Liz was like, can you take the trash with you? And I said, I just can't, I can't, I cannot. It, it just, I can barely walk right now. And um, so that's frustrating. Not my normal self right now, but um, staying positive and uh, I'll keep you updated. I was correct, it was an infection and uh, doc gave me antibiotics. Got the antibiotics, took the antibiotics home, took a pill. An immediate allergic reaction. <laughs> yep. God, man, I can't catch a break. My ears were just on fire and itching. My nose 
and where's water my sinus is completely drained I had a tickle in the back of my throat it wasn't a severe anaphylactic reaction but I knew immediately what was going on took some Benadryl and um, man and now you can barely stay awake I know I'm like dozing <laughs> off I barely got through dinner I barely got through dinner I was like eating my steak like his eyes falling asleep while I'm cutting the steak and then man and now so now we're going to get a different antibiotic so, my gosh Hits just keep on coming but I'm, I'm, I'm trying really hard to stay positive <laughs> well it's been almost a week since I had to go to the doctor for the infection part of the surgery and um, I've been taking antibiotics almost every day since we're moving tomorrow and uh, just sitting here on a Sunday afternoon and I thought to myself as I was sitting here watching TV I was like I don't know that I've ever showed uh, my setup here on a Sunday afternoon what it looks like in uh, in the wags trailer so let me show you this so I got NASCAR on over there got baseball on over there reclined up my buddy <laughs> watching with me <laughs> he had been all fired up today so he is uh, he was running around and bobbing and black bearded but uh, once I got him set over here with me hanging out watching some sports his beard has turned white and uh, he's Sunday afternoon chilling too oh we just moved again I'm still fighting this stupid infection that won't go away and to make it even more frustrating they did not design this site very well at all uh, where we just moved to it's a nice big site but let me show you the problem well, this is our site not a problem the problem is this and it lines right up with backing into your spot this stop sign look at that great design i don't know who thought of this not a woman i'll tell you that <laughs> i know i don't know who it was but i know it wasn't a woman so I was thinking I'd go up in here and then maybe back it in there, but it'd be really hard to hook because we were coming from this way. So it wasn't like I could go that way and hook it back in there unless I went up and turned around somewhere. So what was the alternative? I just pulled it out of the we ground. We just pulled the stop sign out of the ground. <laughs> Moved it out of the way. And then it just so happened that right where the stop sign was sitting is where my tire pivoted and totally filled the hole back in. Oh, we had to dig a whole new hole. That sucked. Yeah. But so we're here for a week. Hopefully, I can kick this infection in this next week. God, I'm so sick of it. Because we got to move again in a week. Now, I, I'm in about a week from now. I'm able to lift everything. That part yeah. of the surgery is not a problem. The problem is the infected incision site. Yeah. I just got to get it. God. So painful. But I'm yeah. not gonna keep dragging this video out <laughs> to talk about the surgery and all that stuff. Oh yeah, I did want to talk about the other. What? campground because we left out of there and it was a nice site but there was oh one God. major problem and this is what it was I'm outside the RV and back here is a little island with some landscaping and stuff and they cut these bushes back the other day and after they cut it back we noticed there was a bunch of little trash bags they're they're shit bags how many total was it 11 Ugh. I don't even know how old they are. No. It's just nasty. Somebody walked their dog, picked up the crap, and then threw it in the bushes, and then they cut it back. Freaking, there's just shit bags everywhere. So, um, if you're if you're in an RV park, you pick up after your dog is a good idea. But throw the shit bags away, because if you don't throw the shit bags away, you just throw them in the bushes. Well, that makes you a shit bag. So yeah, we're gonna wrap this up, but we will, in future videos as we go, we'll keep you informed on the progress of the infection and how I'm doing. We leave here, we have three more weeks over at Thousand Trails Orlando, mm -hmm. and then we're leaving. Yeah. We can lose or draw. Yeah. I don't care if my nuts are falling <laughs> off. <laughs> yes. We're leaving. We're leaving. I'm leaving Florida. We gotta leave. Can't just stay here forever. I can't live here. No. I refuse to live <laughs> and it's hot it's already hot i'm already sweaty it's already nasty yeah it just anyway Ugh. stay positive <laughs> like us <laughs> <laughs> hey stick around for a few seconds we're going to honor and remember a fallen hero mm -hmm. if you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video appreciate you watching <laughs> see you next time
Bye. Bye.